All right, this video will show you how to use a program called QUCS. Now, there's a link in the description to download that program for free. Uh, this will help you build the voltage divider circuit. Uh, the next video after this one will be the current circuit, and the video got too long, so I have to split into two. To catch that one, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to show you how to come up with a voltage divider circuit via meter. All right, so first, I'm using this program called QUCS. I tend to actually do this on paper, but um, I figured I'll show you with this program in case uh, you, know, you prefer it. It's actually probably easier for me to show you. So let's start. We need some resistors for the voltage divider. Just put a board on here. All right, um, transformer. Okay, we also need some probes. Well, I'm going to try and do it as fast as I can in an effort to keep the video as short as I can. So just um, pause it, rewind, whatever you want to um, sort of understand what's going on. You need AC voltage source. So this is this is going to be a simulation of the whole circuit. So you can hit you can hit this button when I'm done and it comes up with the simulation so you can uh, actually see all the stats on it. So you can make modifications to it and run it again and run it again and it'll be fine. Ground in every circuit in this program, you need at least one ground. That you need. Right now, I'm going to wire it up. That's a current source, the current source has to go in series. See all the resistances. See this, put back up here. This that little button there does the lines. Hit escape, it takes you out of it. So what I want to do is measure the voltage drop over that last resistor. Right, so let's Right click edit properties, add some volts. So 230 volts is the voltage I have here in Australia. Supply. I'll just rename it quickly to supply. I'm going to change the frequency. For me, it's 50 hertz. So for 60 hertz, I'm in 60. Alright, let's pull change on the V so it's more understanding. So we'll say supply side. Secondary side. Okay. Current, I'll make it easy. Current, I'm going to type this one, call this one B out. Alright, so put that on there. Then I need to go simulations, AC simulations. Right click on that, properties, again, run 50 hertz, let's do 50.5, step numbers, just do two, and it'll just have two steps, you'll see. Okay, you can then hit that button there, it's going to ask you to save it to something. Bam, it's done. So, Looking at this, we go, oh yeah, 
where's the information? Got this diagrams, drag this in. What do we want in there? We want supply side voltage, the voltage out, we want the current. Oh, we don't want that. Actually, we don't want that. Let's take that. Do a graph, we want secondary side, we want that current. Supply, we go. So, straight up with these default resistors. Oh. Alright, so what we can actually see is we've got um, a voltage drop of 57 volts on here. Now it's because this transformer here is a one-to-one -one transformer. So we need to put some turns in there. So what you've got to do is take your transformer, take the primary voltage divided by the secondary voltage. So if I've got, oh I'll show you. So if I've got 230 on my primary side, and I have 4.5 on my secondary side, which is actually what I have, I've got a transformation ratio of 51.1 repeating. So I just type in 51.1 repeating. Okay. Now we'll run this again. You'll see it will drop. Now we get one volt out. Now remember, the circuit board is only good for 600 millivolts. So what we have to do let me just drag it out for the other oh, so we need a bigger voltage drop. So let's put this in the thousands. So let's make this say 30,000 30,000 ohm or 30 k ohm Sorry, that one wasn't going to be that one. Let's make that a bit lower. Let's make that 6,000. It allows more voltage to drop. Oh, so here we go. Hang, run it again. Go back over here. We can now see there's 280.281 volts or point or 281 millivolts. Now that's perfectly in the scale. And we can see the current is 4.69 to negative 5. So to work out what the power is, because you've got to remember resistors can only take so much power, you just be times that one by that one. Alright, most resistors, like most of the little resistors, a quarter watt, the V times I, so if you take 200.281 times 4.69 to the power of negative 5, that number is going to get really small, and if it comes under a quarter watt, you're right, for those small resistors.